Us gold and silver stackers are a right odd bunch. We absolutely love it when the value of our investments go down because, of course, it means that we can buy more of the wonderful shiny stuff that we all love, whether it be gold or silver, at discounted prices. Now, this last week has seen some big drops in prices, and whenever this happens, I start to see a lot of people talking about backing the truck up and buying as much as possible. That's risky but it certainly does represent right now a good opportunity to accumulate more of these wonderful precious metals. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to your joining me for this week's Precious Metal Ramble, which is going to be of course all about the big drops in silver, gold, platinum, palladium, radium, all the precious metals dropped in value and price quite significantly after the Fed announced on Wednesday that there would be interest rate rises coming a little bit sooner than people might have anticipated. Even though 2023, which is what they said, seems a long way away, the metals markets reacted. People took money out of metals, put money into the dollars, into bond yields, into other stocks and shares, which of course are going to grow over this recovery period that we'll be entering in. So the poor old precious metal world has had a little bit of a shock price drop. And when that happens, as has happened many times before with silver and gold, you get two camps forming that I always observe. The first is the panic sellers that go off and just they've had enough they don't want to be in this game anymore or like the other you know banksters and institutions they sell off to go and put money in other things then there's the second camp which is the oh my god it's on discount buy 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 go and buy as much as you can back that truck up gonna borrow all my money in the world to get as much silver as possible because it's on discount dangerous very dangerous that second one and it's not a very good idea to ever borrow to ever go into debt to buy metals goodness me that's one of the worst things that you can do so what i want to do today is talk about some of the emotions and reactions that i see and have observed over time and this time with the silver and gold price drops over this last couple of days i would like your opinions on this world that we live in this precious metal investing world so please feel free to comment down below make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying our presentation and if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button because if you are enjoying this video there's a good chance you'll enjoy some of the other things that we talk about here on the channel so I've been around in silver for about five and a half, six years, uh, bought my first, for nearly six years now, I bought my first bits of bullion grade silver in 2015, I started my channel in 2016, and uh, I've seen this happen so many times before, cyclical ups and downs in the silver markets, and you do get a lot of emotions when silver price goes up or down, a lot more sometimes when prices go down, for a number of reasons, you know, people always look at it as a... Uh, you know, potential loss. That's definitely possible. And you know, there are a lot of people who think it's a great buying opportunity, myself included. I do feel that for me anyway, because I have an ongoing budget to buy more precious metals, to buy gold, that I'm going to get more for my money's worth, which is, of course, a really nice thing. I'd rather be buying at lower prices than higher prices. So that's great for me. And it might seem like a bit of an oxymoron to some people out there who feel that, uh, you know, we should be expecting and wanting silver prices to go up and up and up. And especially now in this fast-paced world that people want to see you know huge gains in fact you know of course all the silver squeeze movement expect want will silver and gold to go even higher than they currently are but I've seen it time and time again that expectations and reality are two very different things and this is no exception in my opinion I do feel that there will not be a massive run-up on silver and gold anytime soon. There's a lot of talk about Basel III and that impact that it's going to have on the gold price and the gold market. Um, I don't know enough about it to really go into a full sort of in-depth analysis of that, but the real world pragmatist in me, call me a pessimist if you want as well, uh, you know, just feels that if there's a situation that is going to propel gold to $5,000 an ounce over a short period of time, um, it's going to be bigger and deeper and you know harder hitting than the Basel III new requirements uh, for regulation. That's just my opinion. I, of course, could be completely wrong. That's another thing that is really important right now because when you see big movements in prices, whether it be up or down, you start to see more opinions being shared, more financial advice being shared from channels on YouTube and posts on Reddit or Facebook or Instagram or wherever it might be, whatever social media platform 
you are on. There will be inevitably this now rush of people to share their thoughts and that's absolutely fine. I have absolutely no qualms. I do it myself. I'm sharing my thoughts and opinions right now. But what I don't like and get is all of these silver pumper channels that have thumbnails with people with their arms folded, a big grin on their face with the phrase silver thousand dollars an ounce coming very soon and all of that. Bigging up the idea that silver will get to these high astronomic levels very, very quickly. Uh, you know, it, it really does stoke this FOMO, this fear, this desire for people to want to get rich quick. And I've always said silver does not make you rich quick. It keeps you rich quick. It's very much about the long-term preservation. Now, in the whole market world, where can we see things going over this next coming days and weeks? Now, I'm filming this video on a Friday morning, and I've already seen a small recovery in the silver and gold prices from the lows of yesterday. Uh, I do think that there is long-term benefit still to be owning this stuff. And one of the parts of this, or the two groups that I said there is this, oh God, silver and gold have gone down, let's sell and get out of this market now before we lose everything. That is, I think, almost even a bigger mistake than going and buying and backing the truck up. Yeah, backing the truck up can be risky, it puts you at risk and you've got this additional leverage that is against you. But if you keep hold of any precious metals that you've bought that were priced higher than the prices right now, you can pick and choose when to sell them in the future. And I do think that gold and silver will be going up in value over time. Just how much time it will take for silver and gold to really get to the point that you individually want to then look to sell and release anything, or whether you even want to sell and release any assets that you've got locked up in these precious metals, is anybody's guess. And that's another important thing to remind everybody that there are no savants out there. There are no people who will be able to tell you where the silver price or gold price will be at any given time in the future. I mean, heck, all of these channels that have been talking about silver going up to $30 an ounce over this last couple of weeks and months, just even $30 an ounce seems like a hard ask for silver right now. Uh, and that's certainly not something that anybody knows when is going to happen. And the idea that uh, it is around the corner, I think, is just irresponsible for people to continue to pump. Long term, silver will be good. Silver is an industrially in-demand metal. It is a very attractive metal for industry, and its growth will come from that industrial demand, not because of any failures of the dollar. Um, you know, you've just got to see uh, how I think things went in 2011 and 12, and after the financial crisis of 2008-9-10. Uh, we saw a similar situation. I wasn't investing in precious metals at the time, but I did see a really interesting video. Uh, I forget who it was from. I'll try and remember to find it and link it down in the description. But this gentleman was talking about the situation that we were in back in 2008, 9, 10. And yes, granted, the COVID spending and all the different zeros after numbers on dollars and pounds are bigger right now. But at the same time, there were these fears on inflation back then. We had similar rates of inflation of the US dollar and the pound back in 2008, 2009. Did we get a complete hyperinflation run on the dollar? No, we did not. And, you know, the exact same thing has always been said, I think, over this last five, six years since I've been stacking, that any second now, silver's going to shoot the moon. I could look back through my comment sections. I get it all the time of people who, um, you know, say, well, silver's about to shoot the moon. And I say, okay, we'll see you in a couple of months and we'll, you know, re-talk about how things are going. And then they go, oh, no, it's going to happen any time now. It's going to happen any time now. And then silver price goes down and you see these people go, no, it's it's just it's just a dip. It's a manipulated dip. It's going to happen any time now, any, any, any time this week, this month, this year, maybe this decade. You know, these people, they continue to say it, and it, it does almost sound like, you remember those sort of doomsday soothsayers that would stand on corners saying, the end of the world is nigh, and uh, the end of the world doesn't ever come. I think it's just a natural thing, though, to want and will these things to happen, and it doesn't make sense to me, uh, you know, for the sort of advocation of the collapse of my own currency, my country, my you know, everything, my livelihood, uh, just not making any kind of sense to me and what I want to achieve uh, in the in world, in the life, in everything that I have going on for me. 
Um, but I still do fear for the value of cash and currency. And that's one of the reasons why for me, going forward, I still will be buying precious metals. I always have been over this last six months of price rises. I've even had back earlier this year when silver, when well, certainly when gold was a lot higher, I have gold coins bought at, you know, 15, 1600 pounds an ounce, um, which is of course a huge, huge sum for a bullion grade coin. Am I worried? No, I'm not worried at all. Silver and gold prices have come down. If anything, it's great for me because I'm accumulating more of this stuff. So I'm very, very confident that this will be a good thing to hold for the long term. It's not financial advice, that's just my opinion. Uh, But for the short term, it's really interesting to see the emotions, the reactions, the psychology of different people justifying their purchase decisions. Just going to give this little coin a quick clean. All my fingerprints is my gold coin of choice to be out on the desk that I can enjoy. There we go, that looks a little bit better. And uh, you know, it is important to remember that this stuff is a long-term investment. A lot of people use the phrase that you never lose money until you cash out on your investment. And that's very true. With this stuff, if you hold it for the right length of time, it will see you good. It will be golden for want of a better phrase. It will most certainly help you in that long term. It will keep you safe financially. So for me, the gold and silver price is coming down, not an issue whatsoever. The only thing that I get concerned about is uh, the irrational actions of other people out there. And it is important to have this parting message at the end of my video, I feel uh, that I will want to reiterate. And I have reiterated so many bloody times before. I feel like I'm, you know, preaching this message at the altar. Keep your financial decisions responsible. Don't go for the hype. Don't go and back that truck up if you can't afford it. If you can afford it, back the truck up. That's fine. If you've got a certain budget and you're wanting to front load for a period of time, then this is a good time to buy. It's a good dip. I personally think there could even be lower prices ahead. It'll be interesting to see how things pan out next week. Uh, But at the same time, I think we have seen a big drop right now. It's a good time to look to buy. Uh, I certainly will be buying more gold in the not too distant future and I will be looking at all of the different metals out there now to see what's right. Platinum, for example, taking a huge hit, huge hit this week. Does that make it more attractive? Possibly. We've seen higher prices for platinum in the not too distant past. Um, So it could be representing a good opportunity. Silver is still an oddball for us here in the United Kingdom with all the taxes that are on it and involved with it. So perhaps it is not the easiest metal for us to buy, but I certainly am still a buyer when it comes to that stuff. Yellow, shiny, goodness, gold. So that's my thoughts and opinions on the price rocks that we've seen. Left, right, up, down. They will continue to just change and go up and down. And it's important to just keep a cool head on those shoulders and understand that it is a volatile market. It is a big market around the world, a global market that's got so many different factors at play for it. Let me know your thoughts though down in the comment section. If you are just going to be an obtuse troll and call me an idiot or a shill or a bankster, you can just go to Banville. But if you want to have an upright adult discussion about this topic and really get to grips with what you, me and other people think, then please comment respectfully down below and we'll engage with you and have a fun debate. Otherwise, thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. Otherwise, have a great week and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching and please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.